right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just is palpable as this fight gets underway and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Nice strike. And there comes the separation now. Misses again with a right punch. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Nice punch there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Bisbee. Just missed with the leg kick. Way to hide that leg kick. You can't take too many of those big elbows. The right hand just misses. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Beautiful strike. 
really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to kick. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, he got real good, too. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Bisming's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of Apes. Oh, nice right hand, John. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at him dig that body shot right up through the opponent's third. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Good jab. Second round, straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those it. strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Just misses with the straight right. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Straight punch lands. Try to establish that jab. Like he might have landed there instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Bisping's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Good, there it is. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Chor. And both guys really throwing with authority. with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Bisping's kick is blocked. 
right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like a landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much to just keep making it split, showing his opponents that he has no mercy. Nice. spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Shaw. Close guard. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Liver kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He engages in the single power tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, big shot lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Gets up again here, but hurting. Joy going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Bisping gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Alright, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Get those combinations going. Throwing that jab, no good. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, huge block! Just misses with the left hook. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice straight there by Bisping. Real quick leg kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. That'll quiet the storm, shot blocked by Bisping. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. It's a good right hand right there. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Good punch lands. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic 
fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Oh! How about that shin? lands over the top. Oh! Oh, nice. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Chor. Whiffs on that offering. Big body kick lands. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. And he landed the right hand there. Nice knee to the body there. Looking to hip escape, DC. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Shore. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule, but I feel something like that. Kick with so much force. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Wow! Wow! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. and what 